in terms of the probability of a trading system, I think it could be interpreted from two aspects. First, a high probability is a guarantee of our long-term motivation. Recall, soon as I often say, it simplifies complex problems, repeat simple tasks. Why can you benefit from repeating simple tasks? That's because high probability ensuring we can obtain a positive return from repeating. However, if your probability is not high enough, repeating means nothing. Perhaps someone might argue about that. Hey, although my probability is low, but my odds are high, so multiplying the two will still give me positive outcome, right? Mathematically, that's right. But a trade with a low probability and high payout itself is rare and hard to catch. Such circumstances require traders with much higher personal ability, which might not suit for most traders. That's hard money, and we do not have to choose hard money. It's better to choose easy money for most traders. Additionally, our trading system should not be destroyed by low probability events. There is a sentence that I believe everyone has heard in this market: "Cut your losses and let profits run." There are two implications behind this saying. First, there should not be a selling to a maximum profit. In a second, there should be a floor to a maximum loss. Actually, there are the two most important and most essential points. The maximum profit cannot have an upper limit, otherwise we won't earn enough, and it cannot guarantee profitability with a high probability. The maximum loss must have a lower limit, otherwise. If we encounter a rare event in this market that caused a huge loss in one trade, we will be toast. Actually, we just discussed about three elements for evaluating a trading system. Now let's give a simple example to see whether it's a good trading system or not. Through these three elements, many people like to use moving averages to make trading decisions. So I will describe a trading system based on the 200-day moving average. It works like this: hold or go in long position when the indices is above 200-day moving average, and empty all your positions when it's below the 200-day moving average. Until June 2018, the annual average return rate was 22%, with a maximum pullback of 29%. However, the winning rate was relatively low at only 30%, which means. You can only make money once in every three trades. So, except for a low success ratio, at least the previous experience indicates the system is still work. But the problem is, probability is too low, and it's hard to persist in trading with such a low probability. So, this is a core consideration to evaluate a trading system. If you are a day trader. You gotta know how much money you can make every day, and analyze your monthly data. See how much money you make in your best day, and how much money you lose in your worst day. Divided the maximum profit by the maximum loss. If the result is greater than three versus one, then it's okay. And that's what we said: the guarantee of the long-term profit, which is the core of a trading system. Occasionally, experience a loss, even losing two months, we will not panic because we know the system is work. You know, we know this is occasional loss, and I know the system is hundred percent effective, and it will eventually make my money back in the future. This is powerful confidence for your own trading systems. To every single trader, a functional, effective trading system. Is priceless.